Hello again, St. David's. I come to you on uh, this Wednesday in Holy Week, what is known as Spy Wednesday around the world. Uh, it is the day that we remember when Judas goes to the Pharisees and the high priest and uh, says, what will you give me to betray him to you? Um, but it is traditionally for us, uh, at least the last two years, when we have done the Tenebre service with St. John's. And the Tenebre is an evening service for Holy Week, um, traditionally done on Good Friday, uh, particularly in monasteries, and it takes all day to get through. You start very early in the morning and go to very late at night, but it is a service of darkness. It is a reversal of uh, the great vigil where we start in darkness and then we bring more and more light. The tenebrae begins with a bunch of candles lit that slowly go out as we hear the readings of, um, from the Psalms and from Jeremiah. And then we end in darkness and there is a great noise and we are working our way toward the emptiness and the darkness of the grave. For today's Exile Minute, I come to you uh, in front of our presence candle. Uh, this is in St. David's um, nave, and it is by the sanctuary. It is lighted above our tabernacle. And this candle in many Episcopal churches and Catholic churches uh, represents for us the presence of Christ in the tabernacle, the presence of God in the tabernacle. If the candle is lighted, it means that God is here in the bread or wine that are kept in reserve in the tabernacle, in the pyx and in the ciborium. We keep this lit because God is always here. Now, you know that I, uh, before going to seminary, was a music teacher and I worked with theater and in college and high school I was in musicals and operas. And one story uh, and myth that pervades all theaters all around the world is that of the ghost light. Now the practical point of the ghost light that stands on the stage when all the other lights are out is so that somebody walking in the dark will not walk across the stage and fall into the pit and hurt themselves. Um, that's the practical reason for it. But the myth that has come about is that this lights the way for the ghosts of the theater. This light shows us that the theater is never really empty. And it's something I've thought about a lot recently as our theaters and Broadway productions and orchestras have all ceased their gathering, have all closed. Um, because they would have more than 10 people and uh, be in violation of the stay-at-home orders. But in all those theaters, the ghost light is still lighted. It is still lit. The theater is not ever really empty. The spirits of all those who have performed upon that stage pervade the room. The memories, the smells, the sights, the sounds. If only the walls could talk, one might say. Well, we have our own ghost light, as it were, the candle of presence. And either myself or Cynthia has checked on it regularly, and this candle stays lighted all the time, whether we are here or not. Why? Because God is always present. Christ is always present, even in the darkest of nights, in the darkest of moments, in the darkest of days, the light of Christ is here. That's been your Exile Minute, about five minutes, but that's your Exile Minute for today. Reflect on that as the day goes on. I'll see you tomorrow. God bless. Peace.